I really don't think the Greens understand what's happening in the real world. And I know the Minister is here, uh, but I really think that is part of the problem. There is no proper understanding of the harsh realities of people's lives trying to struggle with the inadequacy of the income that is coming through the home. Come into the home. And people out there, and it's happening all over the place, people are coming up and saying that they're just not able to meet the bills that are coming through. And the biggest bills that are coming through now are the fuel bills, the energy bills that are coming through in the home. And that's a, that's a recipe for disaster for people who are disabled, for people who are elderly, for people who are ill. That's going to create a huge disaster in the coming months and indeed if the situation continues with the austerity measures in the coming years. Last year, we have seen the figures, and they're here in the, in the motion, that the ESB uh, disconnected 2,500 people, oh, and that the, we saw where the board guards disconnected 4,000, and it's roughly 20 people per week that are being disconnected by board guards at the present time. But isn't it incredible that disconnection should cost 200 euro, and that reconnection could, should cost a further 200 euro. Now, how can that be allowed by the minister? The minister, only the minister, the minister authorises the regulator. Without the minister's permission, the regulator would not be in a position to impose those charges. And they bear no relation at all to the cost of the actual disconnection or the reconnection. What is the justification for it, other than the minister is, is, has no interest in the matter and is disregarding his, his position as, as, as responsible in this particular area. It seems that he is hellbent on his carbon tax and it's really an excuse for a policy. There is no policy here in relation to climate change, but there is a tax on carbon. And that seems to be as far as the minister can think about it. Other than that, his emphasis is on competition, competition within the energy sector.